please remain standing, boys. I will now hand over to your prefect, who is chair, who will chair this assembly. Please remain, st please remain standing for the national anthem. A reminder that the Australian national anthem is an important national symbol and should be treated with respect and dignity. Please be seated. I would like to pay my respect and acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which this meeting takes place and, and, sorry, and pay my respect to elders both past and present. Good morning, Mr. Elgood, staff and students. I would like to extend a warm welcome to today's presentation assembly. My name is Dan Jetalia and I'll be a chair for this assembly. Today we come here as a school community to acknowledge the outstanding academic, sporting, community achievements of students at Homebush Boys High School. I would, I would wish, I would, I wish to congratulate our awards recipient for taking a strong hold of the opportunities that have led to your, to your achievements today. We are proud of you. We also acknowledge the efforts, efforts of many of you seated here. Although you may not be receiving an award today, the many triple B and blue and maroon awards that have been issued throughout the year are a testament of your hard work, improvement and dedication. Congratulations to you all. I encourage all students here to strive to even greater heights in 2021. Read your school reports carefully, take on board your teachers' feedback and set yourself new, achievable, personal goals for the beginning of next year. Once again, congratulations to all students award rep recipients. And I would now like to invite our principal, Mr. Elgood, to address the assembly. Good morning, boys, and welcome to our presentation assembly. We're doing things very differently this year. Normally, we'd have a presentation day We'd have the whole school together and we'd have the community there. We'd have parents and various other community members as well to help celebrate. But because this is an unusual event, we are doing things differently this year. But nonetheless, it gives us an opportunity to recognise and congratulate some of the outstanding achievements that we've, we've had throughout the year. Can I welcome parents and people watching this uh, video online later on? As I said, it is unusual, it is strange, but we, we're working within the constraints that we have. Well, it has been a strange year, I guess. We've never done online learning. First time ever when a school, all schools, have gone to online learning for a period of time. The isolation, the restrictions, the pandemic that's affected the whole world uh, has been an amazing 
year, one that we'll never forget. But as this year draws to a close, it, it's looking very much brighter. The restrictions are starting to, uh, to be reduced. I noticed last night on the cricket there was no restriction at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Unfortunately, one of our former students, Mitchell Stark, wasn't playing and we missed out on winning by a very small margin. But hopefully we'll look forward to a better future. Today, while not coming as a normal school, school community together, we are, we are here to celebrate these great achievements. And there have been a lot of achievements, academically, sporting, creative, in the creative and performing arts, in community service, and we'll recognise many students who are going to get those awards. There have been some significant outcomes and achievements for the school in, in 2020. Our literacy and numeracy program has, has been ramped up despite the restrictions. And this year we were recognised as one of the 17 schools in the state, high schools, that had achieved significant growth in reading. As a result of this, an expert was sent out from the Department in Literacy to have a look at what we were doing and how we were doing it so well. And boys, you were part of this program in the Accelerated Reader program that you, you took part in. Next year, that'll be expanded into a writing program. We'll also be looking at numeracy. And I hope by the time that you get to your HSC that the things that we are introducing now in our literacy and numeracy str strategy are having a, a tremendous impact on your ability to perform at the best you can. As we draw near the close of another year, I'd like to thank a lot of people who have been crucial in ensuring the success of Homebush Boys High School this year and in supporting you. And can I start by thanking all of your teachers. They're skilled, committed, dedicated, going well above and beyond to help you do the best every day. Boys, I think your teachers need a round of applause, applause for all of the work they do. It's a shame they can't all be here, but I'd like to especially thank the people that have supported you, Ms. Mr. Lee, Ms. Khan, Ms. Player, here on stage, and all of your classroom teachers. I'd like to give a special thanks to Ms. Vedanovic and the team of staff who have helped make today a really special day for you and for each other year as we go through each of the assemblies. And I think it's the amazing detail that staff members such as Ms. Bedanovic and her team, the amazing detail they put into ensuring the success of an event that everything is organised down to the finest minute detail is a reflection of how much the staff go out of their way to support you every minute of every day to achieve your best. Thank you, Ms. Bedenovic and your team. To our parents, while not here, for your tremendous support, which has a significant impact on the success of your son each year. Acknowledging, valuing, and advocating for the importance of education really has a massive effect on the application that we see every day in the classroom. To our students, Boys, it has been a tough year. For your first year here at Homebush Boys High School, it's certainly been different and a different experience to what other boys have experienced in the past. But when I look around, I see a really great group of students with really high potential. I've worked in a lot of schools around the state with some very high performing students. And boys, when I look at you, I see the potential to do perform and succeed as well as anybody in any school around the state. The main thing I'm going to ask for is effort, is your commitment to your learning. And boys, I thank you for the commitment you've given this year and look forward to that commitment ongoing next year and in the years beyond. I'd like to congratulate all the boys that are going to receive awards today. I think this is an absolutely amazing achievement. We can't give awards to everybody, but the people we are recognising today have certainly, consistently tried their best all year and achieved extremely high results. So 
for those boys who are not getting awards today, can I also congratulate you, all the boys that have just worked consistently hard every day to do their best. Sometimes you don't get awards. Sometimes the award is looking at a report or looking at a comment that acknowledges the effort that you put into your, your studies. Boys, your teachers certainly notice this and your parents notice it. I thank you for all the effort that you've put in all year. As this may be the last opportunity I see you all together over the next week and a half, I'd like to wish you and your families a very happy and safe Christmas holiday break and I look forward to all the challenges and successes that 2021 brings next year. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Elgood. Now, the Year 7, assembly, year seven Deputy Principal, Miss Player, will be addressing the Assembly. Good morning, Mr. Elgood, Year 7 and parents at home. This is an exciting day for you as we celebrate your achievement of your first year in high school. It's been an interesting year for all of us, your first year at the school and mine, and you've done a great job navigating the changes and new experiences of you have encountered this year. Throughout this year, you have proven yourself in the classroom with some outstanding results. On the sporting field, as leaders in our environmental team, as SRC leaders, artists, musicians, and even budding filmmakers. You have developed your talents and shared your gifts with the school community, and we are richer for it. And today, this ceremony is our way of thanking you and acknowledging your achievements. Next year, remember the lessons you learnt this year about respect, commitment to your studies and working hard to achieve your goals. Ensure learning is your first priority in the classroom, treat everyone with respect and be proud to call yourself bushy boys. Set your goals high for year eight and work hard to achieve them. Remember, there will be obstacles, there will be mistakes, but with hard work, there are no limits. So set your goals high and we will work together to help you achieve them. I look forward to supporting you and your learning journey next year as you develop your many skills and talents. I'd like to thank Mr B and Ms Khan, your year advisors, for all their hard work and dedication. I'd like to congratulate you and tell you how proud I am of you for completing your first year of high school and I look forward to working with you next year. Have a safe and happy holidays, boys. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Player. Now we hear we will hear a musical item called "The Entertainer," which will be which will be performed by Jaden Kwan. Thanks, Jaden. Now we'll welcome the Year 7 year, year Advisor, Mr. Lee, and Assistant Year Advisor, Ms. Khan, to address the Assembly. This will be followed by a presentation of awards to be read by Mr. Lee and presented by Mr. Elgood. During the award presentation, we ask you to hold your applause until the end.
Good morning, staff, Year 7 students, and any parents and families that may be viewing this online. What a year 2020 has been. It will definitely be a one that we will never forget. Year 7, it was the year that you got your first taste of high school and where all the thoughts of apprehension and excitement of all the new challenges you were about to face came flooding into your minds. Looking back, it certainly did not make things easier, having to face a pandemic whilst also trying to find your feet in a new environment. It has been uplifting to see the growth in you boys, from the small and nervous students who arrived on day one, open-eyed and weak-kneed, to now becoming strong and confident young men who have just completed their first year of becoming Bushy Boys. I'm sure that when you reflect on this year, some wonderful memories will come to mind, ones that you will hopefully cherish for many years to come. You will reminisce about the newfound friendships created over the last 12 months. You will remember the chaos and excitement of events such as U7 Camp, where you were able to form strong bonds with your cohort, and the peer support leaders who showed you the ropes of surviving in the high school setting. It was where many of you had the chance to step outside of the box and your comfort zone and face your fears. Well, some of you will remember the countless lessons where you learnt about subject areas like maths, English and science. But more importantly, you will remember how you learnt about the ways in which the world worked and what skills you will need to thrive in it. Whatever it may be that comes to mind when you think of the year 2020, just remember that it was also those experiences, both good and bad, that allowed you to grow, making you the individuals that you are now sitting here before us. We have achieved so much over the past year, but by far the best attribute of this year's seventh cohort has been your energetic nature, both in and out of the classroom. There have been achievements in the academic, sporting, creative, and performing fields. Just to name a few, you have represented the school in grade sport, debating, and involved yourselves in extracurricular activities around the school by joining groups such as the SRC, Environment Club, and Interact Club. It has been a privilege to watch you grow a year older and wiser. Every single one of you makes the school a better place in some way and you are a credit to both the school and your parents. Whether you are receiving an award today or not, always work to your best, and you can be very proud of your achievements. Take advantage of the opportunities before you and set high expectations of what you can achieve. We can see that the majority of you are trying your hardest to make positive progress both within and outside of the school community, and we cannot wait to see what the next few years have in store for you. I hope you can all find time to slow down and have a meaningful and positive summer break. We look forward to seeing each and every one of you again in the new year after a safe and relaxing holiday. Thank you. And now it is my pleasure to announce the award winners for 2020. These awards will be presented by Mr. Elgood and Ms. Player. So first in English, Ahash Thea Galingham. First in Geography, Emre Boz. First in Visual Arts, Lucas Fonseca. First in Electronics, Naveen Chagendran. First in Music, William Luong. First in Digital Technology, Coding, Sean Song. Equal first in History, Chash Sharma. Equal first in History, first in Science, Yalinian Jasitharan.
first in mathematics, first in PDHP, and first in year seven, read one sector. Year Advisor Award for Citizenship, Rashed Rana, and Ridwan Sikta. Year Advisor Award for Commitment to the School Community, Yusuf Adra, and Yusuf Tabik. Year Advisor Award for Commitment to Learning, Anthony Samadreja. Best and Fairest in 14's Tennis, Kenzo Pelike. Best and Fairest in 14's Table Tennis, Pravin Anand Kuma. And the Commonwealth Parliamentarians Merit Award for Academic and Leadership Award goes to Rashed Rana. Can we give all these boys a round of applause, please? Thank you, Mr. Elgood, Mr. Lee, and Ms. Khan. Could we also give one final round of applause to our award winners? <laughs> Next, we have our second musical item to be performed by Lenis Karatin of Year 8.
Thank you for that wonderful performance, Ocean and Leonis. I would like to invite Rid Ridwan Sekar and Rush Rana, your SRC's representatives, to address the assembly. Good morning, Year 7. 2020 has been, a, has been a challenging yet rewarding year for all students and staff of Homebush Boys High School. This is a special year for Year 7 as it marks the beginning of our journey through high school. This comes with mixed emotions as we are no longer in the same class with the same teacher all day. We are no longer the eldest and wisest of students at school, which has at times been daunting. However, the amazing staff and students of Homebush have made us feel incredibly welcome at our new second home. Year 7 camp was a significant highlight of Term 1, which allowed us to connect and get to know our peers and teachers in the best way possible. It was through this experience that we learned what it really meant to be a bushy boy. Unfortunately, remote learning abruptly put a pause on the connections we were making at school. However, the determination of students and teachers to overcome the challenges that came with remote learning and still continue to successfully learn and work with our peers is a reflection of the Bushy Boy spirit. This is clearly evident in all the awards given to students at this year's presentation ceremony. Thank you for everyone who has made this year so special for us in year seven. Semester two will hold many fond memories of year seven, which we will never forget. Memories of laughter, of joy, and of trust. With the COVID-19 restrictions easing as Term 3 began, our brotherhood started to form. Our connections and relationships tightened. Term 3 was a time when we gained independence and responsibility in representing our school in sport. It was also a time when we took part in many interesting and, in ed in, and engaging educational programs. The fantasy diorama project, skipping assessments, cooking recipes and bubbling experiments are just a few of many educational experiences we were privileged to participate in and learn from this year. I would like to thank all of our teachers, year advisors, executive staff and home at Homebush Boys High School for making us feel truly welcome this year as new students to this school and help us with our learning no matter the challenge. I'd also like to congratulate all year seven students have, who have won awards today. Let's set, it, let's set an example for the future years and show them the ways of a proud and successful bushy boy. Let's continue on this unpredictable yet rewarding journey, a journey for us to learn from another, one another, a journey for us to inspire and a journey that just began. Thank you, Year 7. Thank you, Ridwan and Rashid. That concludes today's Year 7 presentation assembly. On behalf of the Prefect of Homebush Boys High School, I would like to wish you all a safe and a happy holiday. Thank you. Please stand for the exit of the official party. <laughs>